Hello again and welcome to the Barabati Stadium in Katak as we get uh, set for match 10 of the Sky247.net Legends League cricket and uh, it's featuring the India Capitals against the Manipal Tigers and two former India icons as captains. And we're all set for the toss and as you can see there's a happy mood in the camp which is always great to see. Let me make the introductions. We've got the captain of India Capitals, Gautam Gambiria. Uh, Gautam, welcome. Manipal Tigers, Captain Harbhajan Singh. We've got uh, the presence and very honored to have the Excellency Professor Ganesh Lal here with us. He'll spin the coin and all the way from South Africa, Chandra Fritz is our match referee for tonight and welcome, sir. So the coin is with the Excellency and he's going to give it a bit of a flip here. Sir. Heads. Yes. And right under my feet. It's a tail, so who's won, Chandra? Uh, the Capitals have won. So both. Gautam Gambhir has won the toss, India Capitals have won the toss, what are you going to do? Oh, it's a no-brainer, we're going to bowl, there's so much of dew around, obviously the wicket looks a bit dry, it might just spin later on, but then dew is a huge factor here. So there it is, the news from the centre is India Capitals have won the toss and they've elected to bowl first. And looking at the Manipal Tigers, who've been asked to have a bat first, Harbhajan Singh hasn't won a toss in the season's version of the Legends League Cricket. They welcome Lance Klusner, Lance Zulu Klusner, the big hitter from South Africa. Be interesting to see how he goes tonight. They've got a very strong bowling lineup as well with the likes of Harbhajan Singh, Kristen Porfoot, Dilharu Fernando as well, who's been in good, good form. The India Capitals. They've won the toss, and Kutum Gambia said he's very happy to have a chase because of all the dew that's around. Mitchell Johnson, Nishwa Pandi as well, is welcome to the side. The right arm Seema, Mawan Soyal and Pravin Tambo make up the bowling line with Liam Plunkett. These two players walking out, uh, Jesse Ryder and Tadena Raibu. And look at a few of the retired players and, 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 and make a few teams. Jesse Ryder didn't take too long to acclimatise to the conditions. She, the lack of bounce. The tender type has been good all the way through the tournament. It's got a simple game, drives nicely, pulls well. Very simple game. Mitchell Johnson. India Capitals on top of the league. These two facing each other tonight for the first time. Nice away swing to start off with. Mitchell Johnson has been very good for the India Capitals. Beautiful connection. He did that the other night as well. Anything that goes through the offside is generally a boundary because this outfield is excellent. Oh, that is absolutely smashed. He has hammered that to dispatch it front of square. The longest part on the ground to get to a boundary and he's cleared it easily. Just put it down. He had hit that very, very hard, and Solomon Mire puts it down. 15 without loss. Much by these two openers. But at the same time, there are players like Jesse Ryder who can utilize the angle as well and tuck the ball, especially if you're straight down the leg side. This is much better, but equally good timing on that from Jesse Ryder. That's his second six. The ease to where he plays the shot. It, it, it's something to really enjoy. Ah! This time around, it is taken. And it was a very sharp catch that. There would have been a moment they would have been maybe slightly worried. Went quickly as well. Again, that bottom hand coming into play from Taibu. That's a top catch from Ashley Nurse. Gone for five, 30 for one. And for Mohammed Kaif to get promoted in the batting order would just allow Ryder because strokes like these. And he's quite capable of changing the tempo. Oh, he's gone for the. Big shot again, he's, he's going to get four streaky runs. Bold, looking for the Yorker, that's well contrived from Jesse Ryder. Frustration for Soil. nine overs gone, 60 for one. Straight down the throat of deep mid-wicket, it's down. 
Ashley Nurse drops Jesse Ryder. How expensive will that be? Bold. Oh, he doesn't deserve that. That's gone. Four runs, inside edge, unlucky for Plunkett. Tigers, 64 for one. It has a big impact in T20 games where every ball is an event. There you go, that's four runs. A free hit ball that shouldn't have been bowled, but uh, there you go. All, I guess, part and parcel of the game. Good for Mohamed Kev. Big one. Brilliant shot from Mohamed Kev. Beautiful pickup shot. Just that momentum required in that stroke from Kev. Has he found the field and now just goes over. Nice flick of the wrist more than anything. That's called optimum hitting. Just enough power to get it over the fielder. The Manipal Tigers, that momentum, still looking for that as the specs. Back power, 469, comes in. I'm thinking that's a substitution. Has he found the gap? He has, and he gets to his 50. Mohamed Kaif, another 50 in this tournament. Consistency. That's Mohamed Kaif for you for Manipal Tigers. Yes, the balcony. The dugout will stand and applaud him. First game, a 73 for the Manipal Tigers. Those kind of highs and moments are missing. Jesse Ryder now gets to his 50. Of 40 balls. How good has he been? Come on, we need a back wave. Yes, that is it. That's another high for a player. Doesn't matter, you're a player who's playing at the moment for your country. He uses that shot a lot, and it's effective. These are hammer blows from Jesse Ryder. That's his fourth six. Just a wonderful bat swing. Muscular, big, broad shoulders. It is a long one in place, but it will evade him. It's the uh, bat power score. Up and over. Up and over for four more. What a great shot that is. It will happen at this stage of an innings because the batters are going to be swinging, a little bit of luck goes your way, and edge goes to the boundary. Pick that up quickly, very, very quickly. That was an excellent judgment of the length. Oh, it's so good from Jesse Ryder, and it is called a no ball. It brings up the 150 as well. That's a long way over. That's a long way over from the Englishman. And look at that power from uh, Jesse Ryder. 534 is the uh, bat power. Got him. After starting the over with an overall that went for six, then the free hit, Plunkett comes back with a crucial wicket at a crucial stage. Line up the stumps, ball straight. They swing and miss, you're gonna hit. Jesse Ryder, brilliant, 79. Tigers, 156 for two. Came down the track really early, but hasn't timed it. Well, that's the two set batters gone. Liam Plunkett has been very good tonight, and so has Mitchell Johnson with the ball. This time, he's the man who takes the catch. It's good cricket this, Plunkett. Bangs it in, he invites Mohamed Kef, says, hit it out the park. He doesn't, he finds the safe hands of Mitchell Johnson. Kef, 67, Tigers, 157 for three. He's had a few big swings, and finally he finds the bat, but Plunkett, I think he may have lost it a little bit. He's done well to actually stop the boundary. Down on one knee, this has gone high. Pace was taken off the ball, and brilliantly done. 
That is very, very nice work done out in the outfield. They've dropped a few catches tonight, missed a few chances, but then they've taken some good ones as well. Well, Corey Anderson trying to work with the pace here. No pace. Corey Anderson's stay is a short one. It's 161 for three. Last ball of the innings. Hey! We had a few of those. The keeper waited for that. He waited for the batter. And they're going to go to have a look at this to see if it's a stumping. Anything beyond? No, I'm giving that out. I am giving that out. Pradeep Sahu is the man and he's been given out. Smart piece of stumping by Dennis Ramdin. 162 is the target. That uh, will be for the India Capitals to see if they can go clear at the top of the table. It just fell away a little bit towards the end. That's thanks to some brilliant bowling. But the partnership between Ryder and Kent was excellent to watch. They entertained this incredible crowd here. Boundary hitting was superb and the acceleration was great to watch as well. Kev, when he started his innings, was going in a run a ball for a long time and he accelerated beautifully. Got the team up to 161. Those two scores keeping the Manipal Tigers pushing forward with momentum. Mitchell Johnson was brilliant. He could have taken a few more wickets, kept the runs down. One for 28. Ishwa Pandey, none for 35. Ashley Nurse just bowled the two for 19. Suyal was brilliant. Four overs, none for 33. Doesn't quite reflect how uh, dominant he was. Plunkett, magnificent. Two for 31 in four. Rajat Bhatia, oh, how good is that? Two overs, two for 14. First 10 overs, 68 for one. The next 10, 93 for four. We've seen two fine innings tonight by uh, Jesse Ryder and Mohamed Kef. Gautam Gambir is captain, magnificent uh, cricketer. Over the years, 58 test matches for his country. And Solomon Miri, strike rate is uh, astonishing. Now, Chris Mpofu, Zimbabwe, he's been out with a hamstring pull. And uh, this will be interesting to see how he bowls to Solomon Mire. They know each other's game. There's a slip in. And that is good. Oh, that's nicely played. Gautam Gambier, the skipper. Tucked away. Oh, Gautam Gambier, that's a lovely touch. Has he got some bat on this, or is it leg buys? And Bayer says, no, it's runs. And Porfu picked up. Great blow, that is, from Mire. Oh, he's chipped it so simply, and Porfu can dance. He's got the skipper out. For the Manipal Tigers. You could just see, and as soon as you just uh, turn the fingers over, hit the deck hard, got them just uh, shut the bat uh, a little too early, top edge, and uh, everybody realizes how big a wicket that is. Gambir gets out for 15, 23 for one, the India Capitals. Whoa, where's this gone? It's gone for six. Down the next side. This is, this is a bad ball from Pravinda Awana. Slower, but it's four. And cut away hard. This is expensive from Awana. Oh, that's a good shot. Wow, that is very, very cultured from Mazakata. Five gone, 49 for one. The Capitals. These two continue batting together because they've had an excellent partnership. And. Uh, Right through the tournament, they've been good together. 
Well, he's been threatening that leg side. And in the end, he gets a little bonus there. Christian Porfield taking the catch on the boundary. Well, how many leg stump full tosses get caught? Most of them end up in the uh, stands, but Fernando roll the drums. Solomon Mira not quite at his best, but 28 from him, 51 for two. Down the ground. In the air, it's hanging. Oh dear, he's just lost the ball, Lance Kluzner. The free hit is dispatched. Ross Taylor, what a player he is. It's great to see him out there tonight. It's gone down the ground again, this time around with a long off up. It's a good option for Hamilton Masakatsa. Picked up on the leg side now. Oh, we're talking about the, the bowling form of Dilhara Fernando. That's unlucky. That is very, very unlucky. Unlucky. So unlucky for the bowler. Dropped. Sahu puts it down. He got into position really early. Fielder on the boundary came in. This has come off the uh, bottom half of the bat. Didn't sound great. Now then, how far over his head has it gone? What a way to finish that over. That is brilliant betting. Hamilton Masakatsa is having another good day. Halfway in terms of overs, it's 97 for two. Oh, that's gone a long way into the crowd. The cut, the pull. Uh, the shots that he plays against spin is always a hallmark of a good player against spin. Top edge. And it's flown away because it's a full-blooded swing from Hamilton Masakata. Oh, this is high quality batting indeed. And what a way to go to your half century. That may be the longest of the night. A shot of the night as well. Against a high class bowler. Low full toss. Has he found the gap? Right in the middle. Dilhara Fernando trying. He's nearly pulled off, and oh, that would have been a brilliant catch. He loves the leg side, and he's hit a few big sixes tonight. He just seems to have a lot of time. Almost more time than anybody else at the moment. Very short, digging it into the surface, and it doesn't work for Mpofu, works for India Capitals instead. Oh, it's a bottom edge! That's brilliantly taken, because he's going for the sweep. Somebody's got 1,000 wickets. Yeah, good catch. There was deflection, change of pace as well, and there you go, 20 now, 27, with steam on the threshold of a win, 137 for three. Oh, he's gone after this. He has gone after this something. Wow. And the man who's just walked into bat, Ashley Nurse. He tests the water, he tests the weather. Here again. Just a manner in which the ball has been dispatched outside the boundary line so consistently. Oh, he's gone big again. Ashley Nurse. Big and six. Yes, it's six, and the India Capitals finish the game off in style. Gautam Gambhir dismissed for 15 by M. Pofu, caught by Pradeep Sahu, and then it was a partnership between Mire and Masakadza. Ash Ross Taylor playing his very first game of this Legends League, departed after scoring a 29, the victim of Mathaya Muridharan. Nice catch taken there by Tatenda Taibu. Ash Lenas, who's already got a massive score under his belt in Calcutta, went out there in aggressive manner to get 21 of just 11 deliveries. The partnerships having their say for the India Capitals. 86 between Masakatsa and Ross Taylor. 
didn't look that very massive when Taylor and Masakadza were going in terms of the hits, but they were so effective that the run rate became very easy for them to chase it down. 25 between Masakadza and Ashley Nurse. Yeah, lots of bowlers used, but they couldn't make the breakthrough. A wicket for Mpofu. Dilhara Fernando, two overs cost him 19. He did take a wicket, but Muralitharan, look at those numbers. Four overs, 14 dot balls, one for 15, and he almost pulled off a spectacular court and bowl. Couldn't quite. Harvajan went, was expensive, and uh, unfortunately, the Tigers just couldn't make the breakthroughs that they needed. Summary of match 10, Manipal Tigers 161 for 5, Jesse Ryder 79, Mohamed Kef 67, Rajat Bhatia and uh, Liam Plunkett bowled well for the Capitals. Capitals 162 for 3 and 17.2, 17 Azakadza 68, India Capitals winning by 7 wickets.